Hey guys, welcome back to Ropes and Design. I hope you're a subscriber to this channel. If you are, you know that right now we're in the middle of installing two big projects in Southern California. And yes, I am wearing slippers, okay? Because they're comfortable. And I'm excited to show you how those turn out. Recently, I was going over some of my older videos and I realized how much good content we have that's just buried. Buried down there under the layers and layers of YouTube content. Videos that if you're new or recent to my channel, you've probably never seen. And some of you who've been around for a long time, you may not have seen them either. So I've decided to do a series called, get this, Buried But Not Dead. That's right. Good hair, bad hair, low light, no light. I'm gonna re-upload some of my favorite videos ones that I think have great design tips and content that will inspire you in your design projects. First up, we're going to Los Angeles, California, the Hilton at LAX. Hi, you know what? I'm in Los Angeles right now, staying at the Hilton Hotel at the LAX airport. I just walked into the room and, and you know, the first thing that hit me was, this is nice but it could have been so much better. So I thought, while I'm here and I have my camera, why not show you what I would have done? Just a few minor changes that I think would have made a much bigger wow the moment you walk in this door. So here's the room. And what they did was they've done sort of that um, aqua sea green, blue green color with the chocolate brown or the taupe. I don't know, kind of an insipid color palette. What makes aqua and taupe look good is espresso cabinetry. We've got this, I don't know, I guess oak veneer kind of a melamine drawers. Had this been in the chocolate color, the dark black brown espresso color finish, this whole room would have looked so much better. Even this like boring insipid wallpaper would have looked so much better against that chocolate. Look at the headboard here and the two nightstands. Okay, so I understand. Maybe they have this in their you know, 1990s version of this room, and so they had to keep the furniture because the cost would be expensive. But the color palette they chose just doesn't flow with it. They've done a good job by doing their lights that kind of span the two and give you a nice balance, but the piece of art over the bed doesn't really say anything. It doesn't have any impact of color, and more importantly, there's not a light on it. But one spotlight right about here that would have aimed on that would have made that piece of art look so much better. But here's the biggest figure flaw that absolutely like screamed out to me when I walked in and it was this. Hello, look how low this is. I'm like, I'm 5'4 and I can touch this. It just completely plays the room down. The reason they do it is they put air conditioning and heating running in these things and maybe they have that, I don't know. Let me tell you what I would have done to make this look so much better, watch. chest, long skinny desk. Then over here we had the piece of furniture and the piece of furniture. Now I have balanced the room out more with furniture on both sides. I have brought the room from feeling so long and skinny in a little bit by putting the desk here. This creates a nice little alcove, but here's the one thing I can't do for you, but I would have done if I had designed this room. What I would do is pull these curtains right here out to the front of this soffit. Take them to the ceiling, which I believe is probably about eight feet, and drop it here. That would create a little bit of an alcove for this desk to fit in. There's a couple of things about that that would be great. First off, it would look good. Number two, when you're in the alcove, let me show you what happens. Now, these curtains are, when you're sitting here, these curtains are at your side, but what do you have? You have a complete and total view that's now open when you're sitting at the desk. Not that that's a great view, couple other things. This mirror, my guess is this was part of the old design decor. And you know, everybody's on a budget, so they're trying to do it within reason. They needed to paint this in the espresso because this just looks like whitewashed out of style 80s mirror. And then last but not least, you know, 
if Paris's dad, Mr. Hilton, wanted to make a difference and let people who pay this kind of money to stay in these places, hello, this is Los Angeles. We're talking LAX, one of the biggest airports in the world, right? This should be a flat screen television against the wall, probably a 42 inch. Even if you didn't change the color of the finish of the furniture, which would be huge, but if you didn't change that, you just fixed the window treatments, reappropriated the furniture, it would have given you much more of a impressive first impression, kind of like when you walk into the W Hotel, you know what I'm saying? I know this isn't the W, it's the, how would you do an H? It's the H, but the W's got it going on. So, Hilton, step it up. Paris, talk to your dad about that. So, what did you think? Don't you think moving that desk around alone made such a big difference? The entire room feels so much more balanced and cohesive now. I mean, hello, no brainer. Hilton, call me. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. What do you think about buried but not dead? There are really some great ideas buried down there. We've got a bunch of reveal videos heading your way real soon, and I can't wait to show them to you. The design sessions where I teach you everything I know about interior design is going to be on art this month. So follow the link or go to my website to sign up for that. Well, that's it for us today. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you again next Friday for some more Buried But Not Dead. I love you, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.